So Scorpio, in the recent past, we have the Two of Swords. Now, this card, it shows that your partnerships, they're more than likely to have been going somewhat well, whether these were friendships, romantic, or business. However, you would have needed to consider the depths of your commitment to equality and whether or not you were being treated as an equal. If you were not, it could have been time to bring things back into balance. This would have certainly required open communication on your part because nothing would have changed without putting in some effort. That's the Two of Swords. It's paired with the Eight of Swords. Now, you could have been holding yourself back because you had fear of moving into the future or because you were afraid of getting hurt by a new situation or it could have been for no reason at all. You needed to think through what it was you were afraid of because the truth of the situations were probably much less frightening than your mind was making it out to be. That is the Eight of Swords and those two cards are uh, in the recent past. Now, we move on to the present and we have the Four of Pentacles. Now, this card can be about holding on to things, people, money, or situations much longer than it's healthy or realistic. When this card appears in a reading, it's a definite sign that you must look carefully at what you're clinging to and whether others are clinging to you in an unhealthy way. The Four of Pentacles, it can point to anxiety and fear about money and or clinging to whatever it is that makes you feel secure. The key here is to try to realize that being anxious and grasping, it will not bring security. The Four of Pentacles is paired with the Seven of Wands. Now you're likely to find that in any sort of competitive situation, that you come out on top. Things should be going very well, you should be feeling good, and projects should be moving right along. You may still have regular moments of self-doubt, but unfortunately, now is the time to feel the fear and do it anyway. Also, don't hesitate to, to, to make clear where you stand with people. Because your thinking is clear and you're likely to help someone out by spelling things out for them. This card also points towards being independent and thinking for yourself. That's the Seven of Wands paired with the Four of Pentacles and these two cards paired together is pretty much uh, letting you know you're holding on to people, money, or situations longer than it's realistic or healthy. Okay? And you shouldn't be doing that because with the Seven of Wands, um, for whatever reason you're, you're clinging like that, um, it's unnecessary because you're going to come out on top with the Seven of Wands. Uh, there's no need to grasp or, or want to hold on to anything in an unhealthy way. Because, like I said, again, you've got the Seven of Wands. Just go ahead and feel the fear. Whatever you're afraid of, feel the fear and uh, move forward anyway. Just go ahead and embrace it. If you have some type of anxiety about something and you feel the need to grasp, just go ahead and have that anxiety, but um, um, make, keep, continue to make your moves. Uh, and don't grasp because uh, any situation right now, you're going to come out on top with the Seven of Wands. Things will be going very well, and your projects will be moving right along. So let go of that anxiety, let, let go of the grasping and clinging. It's unhealthy, and um, things will work out fine because, like I said, you've got the Seven of Wands. And that's in the present. Now we move on to the challenge. We have the Four of Pentacles. I'm sorry, the, uh, the challenge, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Now, as you can see, um, probably if you can see the picture, uh, it has a great deal 
Well, it's showing that you have a great deal to be thankful for. Relationships of all kinds, finance, health. All those things, they'll be going really well for you at this time. Consider how you got to such a happy situation and make the best of it and be sure to share what you have. Even if it's a kind word spoken to a neighbor or a stranger or someone in need. Because remember, we give back what we give out. Now, the Ten of Pentacles is paired with the Tower card. The Tower card, you're trying to hold on too tightly to the status quo, and that can be a disaster. You need to remember to roll with the changes. It's likely that some people, situations that you have counted on as being there for you, they probably are no longer there in quite the same way. Now, keep in mind, this doesn't have to be drastic. Because change is the nature of life. Trying to prevent it is going to be like trying to row upstream without a paddle. So if you have been building castles in the air, this could be the time that some of them come crashing down. Now, keep in mind that's only a problem if you let it be. You will be able to replace them with some more realistic and reachable dreams and goals if some fantasies fall apart this month. Dreaming is important, but it's also important to be living in reality, too. Okay, so with these two cards paired together, the Ten of Pentacles, a happy life, great finance, happy health. Um, make sure you share what you have because things overall are very good for you. Uh, you have a great deal to be thankful for with the Ten of Pentacles and the Tower card. You have to remember to roll with the changes. Yeah, remember to roll with the changes because that's the nature of life. Okay, so something that you're working on, it may not quite work out the way you hoped that it would. Okay, but that's only a problem if you let it be because you can just, you might have to just start all over again. And it could be something like you planted flowers around the house and they just didn't grow or, or something like that. It, it doesn't have, when you see the tower card, it doesn't have to be anything drastic. It could be something, something silly, okay? So it's not going to be, it shouldn't be bad because you, like I said, you got the Ten of Pentacles and it's, it's about everything being great, grandiose or beautiful for you. So Whatever this tower moment is, I'm sure it's going to be um, pretty mild because the two cards are paired together. And like I said, the Ten of Pentacles is a beautiful card. And that's going to be the challenge. And we move on to the outcome. We have the Nine of Cups. Now, this is one of the most uplifting and pleasant cards to receive in a reading. Known, this card is known as the Wish card. It can mean what you are hoping for or dreaming about is most likely to be yours in a very short period of time. Now, the, the appearance of this card is usually of happiness, good times, or good things about to come your way. It usually, it usually means that what you want is likely to become yours, is likely to come into being in your life whatever you're wanting and wish for. So asking a yes or no type of question, if you're asking a yes or no type of question, this card is the most powerful indicator of yes. But like everything else in the tarot, it all sometimes depends on you. So you have to make sure you're putting in that wish. If you don't put in the wish, then how can you get the yes? Okay? So you kind of have to take action. And the uh, Nine of Cups is paired with the Judgment card. And the Judgment card is about jumping to conclusions, decisions, and of course, judgments made too hastily. If you know you're prone to doing such things, this is a clear signal to slow down, give people more thought, give people more chances. This time can also be a time of spiritual awakening. With these two cards paired together, the Nine of Cups, go ahead and make a wish. 
it will be yours in a brief period of time. Good things are about to come. Okay, if this card is all about happiness. If you're asking a question of yes or no, powerful, very powerful, strong yes. You get the, yes is the answer. Okay, and being that um, it's paired with a judgment card, um, you probably will want to stop jumping to conclusions about um, people, decisions. Yeah, you might want to stop doing that and give people more chances uh, because that's pretty much like you're just jumping to conclusions without knowing the facts. And that's just, um, it looks like it's just a negative for you if that's what you're prone to doing or if that's what you're thinking about doing. Just let that go because you've got something better for you. That's the, the wish card, the nine of cups. So, yeah, so stop doing that if that's what you're doing, jumping to conclusions. Go ahead and give people more chances. Make a wish for somebody, you know, instead of um, jumping to conclusions about them. Do something great for somebody else. Make a, instead of making a wish for yourself, make a great wish for someone else because right now you could make it happen. And remember, there is that lady named Karma. So whatever you put out there, to the universe is going to come back to you. So maybe you want to do something nice for someone else. Give that wish card away and wish for thank for someone who needs it. And so your uh, karma will be beautiful. And then that's going to be the outcome. So Scorpio, I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe. Leave a comment if that's what you care to do. I thank you so very much for watching and have a great day.